All right. Let's start then. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I think uh, there's uh, 17 people joined today. And uh, I think that some of you might not know me. So let me introduce uh, myself a bit. Okay. So my name, Panya, and uh, my nickname, Henry. So below is the, the, my career and uh, the bit of background since 2013. So I finished bachelor degree at computer science and all UVP. And from 2014 to uh, 2016, I worked on a various company like uh, DWK, the, game, the Japanese game company, Amazing uh, Innovation K. And also we found uh, our team uh, called uh, Felicity. Then 2017, we, can, uh, we got together again with the team. And now uh, since 2018 till now, I'm working at SLAS. I'm working on a few roles yeah, here, uh, full stack developers, uh, project manager, and currently I'm working with uh, mobile developer and uh, product design. So are you, you might see like what news uh, at the bottom. So it's me like at SLAS, you, you won't get bored. Uh, if you, you want to change uh, your role and you want to become a project manager, so you have a chance. Yeah. Or you are a developer, you, you don't want to code anymore, you want to try uh, the UI, UI stuff, and you, you also have a chance to do that. So, yeah, that's a bit of me. So, all right, here uh, is the today agenda. We also have a Q&A at the end of the presentation. I hope you enjoy it. So the first one is, what is the cross-platform mobile development? That you might heard a lot on the online and uh, you, you, you search for the reality of Flutter that they said like keyboard like cross-platform uh, mobile development. So it's a simple. So the cross-platform mobile development is the about to, do, to build a single application that can run on a various mobile operating system, OS, uh, such as uh, Android or iOS. Yeah. So there's a plenty of framework that allow the app developer to build a profitable app. There are two at the bottom, React Native and Flutter, that I'm gonna talk a lot on this uh, presentation. Yeah. How about the benefit? Why are we choosing it? Why cross-platform app development? So here I'm gonna show you like eight points that why we choose uh, the, the benefit of the cross-platform app development. So number one, uh, the maximum exposure to the target audience. It essentially means that by developing a single app, you can target both Android as well as in iOS. The second, it reduces the development cost because it drives one and uh, run everywhere. Yeah, the, the third one is easy to maintain and deployment. In case a bug is discovered in the common code back, essentially it can be easily to fix it once. Yeah, and you can redeploy it again on the, uh, another uh, platform. Yeah. Quicker, quicker development process. I mean, like it has reduced the development effort by 50 to 80 percent because we we use the uh, we rewrite one it's, we, and run it everywhere that we about to reduce uh, the development effort. Yeah. Reduce the bulk code rather than develop per de de developing the new code for each and every platform. A single code can be simply we reduced it, yeah. Number six, easy integrated with the cloud. Essentially, uh, a single source of code is easily to coordinate with a different platform as well. As extension in order to enhance uh, scalability and functionality of the application. So when one, uh, faster time to market and customize it. As described earlier, 
the concept of running one running everywhere is a lot of mobile app developer to reduce the entire time to market and customization through a quicker deployment effectively. And the last one, uniform design. I think the user can easily recognize the user in the first element over the different platform. Yeah, because of the pro platform, that uh, we, we have a unique UI that user are easily to, to you know, catch up and enjoy. So here is the benefit of the pro platform app development. So now we, we, here we go into the, the comparison between the React Native and the Flutter. That uh, there's a lot of things I want to, to share with you guys. So before to, we compare between both of them, so we want to know what is React Native, what is Flutter. So React Native is the project started by Facebook internally, and they open source since uh, 2015. For Flutter, it's the project started by Google, which they have been heavily promoted since 2017. And both of them are the technology that can allow app developer build across build cross platform app faster by using single programming language. Yeah. So now the first one we are going to compare is programming language. On the left hand side is React Native and right side is Flutter. For React Native, they use JavaScript as a programming language. Uh, JavaScript is a very popular language in the web community at the moment. Commonly, like you know, uh, React, React JS and another popular framework like uh, Vue.js. Because JavaScript is a dynamic type language and anything can be done with JavaScript, which is good and bad. For that, for that, it's easy to understand. So especially for the one from the background from JavaScript and from a Java developer, because it support mostly um, object-oriented concept. And it's easy to get started with that. Yeah, that is a programming language. The number two, technical architecture. For React Native, they do flat. React Native architecture rely on the run the JS runtime environment architecture, as known as a, a Java bridge. For Flutter, it uses a skier that is C plus engine, which have all protocol composition and channel. So you might want to take a look for the detail of it. So here for React Native, how React Native interact with the native component. On the left hand side is your app. You are going to write JavaScript. Before you can communicate directly with the native stack, you need a bridge. You cannot talk directly to the native. You need a bridge to send slab and then the bridge uh, communicate directly with the native and then respond back to the app. Yeah, this is how uh, this architecture for the native. For Flutter, there is no bridge here. Flutter doesn't need a bridge to interact with the OS component. Because this, the framework is minimize requirement interaction with them. Also, also for Flutter using C++ as a scale engine, as a result, the app offer a high frame per second. So number three, installation. So on the React Native, they use the uh, NPM, the node package manager. And also the, for the home group, for the, the NPM, they use for like, uh, you install a new plugin, you install a package that need for your app. For home group, I think that's uh, available on Macs. Uh, it's easy to install the React Native CLI that allow you to run, uh, React, uh, run iOS or Android with the command line, yeah. But on the other side, Flutter doesn't have those things. For like homebrew stuff, uh, before you uh, download, you need to uh, download directly from the binary stuff from the GitHub. Number four, setup and project configuration. For React Native, there's a good document, but a little uh, info on the code command line. But in, for the Flutter one, uh, they have bet better document, detailed info on IDE setup uh, and a platform 
of both iOS and Android. Yeah. So I, I have captured some of the, the document of the Reanitio, as you can see, and also for Flutter also. What I like the most of Flutter document is the video. We, the, the, they create a lot of video with us, uh, like one or two minutes to describe their component. So uh, for me, it is easy to, to watch the video rather than to go to detail to the, the document before I start a new component. Yeah. Number five, UI component and development API. So React has less component because the core of React framework, it provides just the UI rendering and the device access API in order to access the most of the native module, React Native has relied on the third party. Yeah. It's not like, like Flutter. Flutter has a rich component. There is a component come with uh, the SDK, device API access, navigation, testing, stateful management, and load of library. Yeah. Number six, developer productivity. For React Native, I think that there are many many IDE support for the, the language feature that you can find online. And for Flutter, I think there's a port only Android uh, Studio, IntelliJ, and VS Code or HMAT. But if you decide to install Flutter on another IDE or tech editor, it is, it's okay, but you just miss the, the best, the better experience from, uh, uh, for Flutter, such as like uh, Sita Highlight, widget editing assist, run the back support and much more. Yeah. So when the community support, we know that uh, Reality uh, has uh, released it since 2015 and there's extensive and active community. It's older, yeah. It's not like a flutter, it's newer but rapid growth. As you can see the number, there's a lot of star a lot of uh, issues that have been closed and also issues that are uh, open. Yeah. Testing and support. For React Native, because of React Native using JavaScript, uh, the tool such as JS is the JavaScript testing uh, uh, tool. But however, if we come to like uh, the UI integration, the UI testing or integration, it might need another tool to have for this, like such as like Detox or FM. But React Native doesn't provide official for those uh, documents. So you need to go to directly to the Detox website, GitHub or FM uh, website for the getting started with the React Native. Yeah. But for Flutter, there are rich of set of testing, like you need test, widget, integrate, integration testing for the UI. I already tried it and then look cool. Yeah. So number nine, build and release automation. For React Native, the official document doesn't have an automated step to deploy an iOS uh, to the app store. However, it provides a manual process document. Yeah. But it's not like a Flutter. Flutter has strong command line interface. We can even create, uh, we create a binary of the app using command line and uh, follow instruction of Flutter yeah, document for building and release the an Android and iOS. Number 10, the deal up and CI CD support. So for React Native, it doesn't have any official document for that, but uh, for Flutter, there's an uh, official document for CI CD service. And because they are using, uh, they have strong CLI tool and it is easy to uh, integrate with uh, CI CD. I already uh, integrate one with the uh, Fastlane and yeah, it's look fine like what I did before with uh, React Native also. So I think I have some app to demo you regarding the, because today we talk about uh, React Native and also the Flutter. So let me share my screen. So you guys can still see my screen with the app. Not yet, so why? <laughs> so let me 
How about this one? So you can see it now. Oh, let me uh, reset my screen. Stop sharing. To do this one. Now, can you see my screen now? Share screen. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so, I'm going to demo you uh, two app. One is the React Native. Uh, you see the yeah because uh, let me restart the app. This app is uh, called Sierra the Sixty Wellness. This app is already live uh, using React Native uh, with the client project. There's already live. There's a lot of uh, customer and uh, we have an in-app chat feature in this app. So this app is about awareness. So the app about to uh, track how you how well you sleep, how well you eat, and how you feel today. As you can see in the, 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 the so-called, in the big so-called, it's like 360. And if we click on the field. So I, I just did the field today and the mood, energy, like you say, I. So it, in this app, there's a, a lot of integration with, uh, with uh, the third party, such as uh, chat. You can see at the top. Yeah. So, how you eat up today. And we also uh, have uh, a big challenge with this uh, feature for the uh, notification or alert. At the client one, like uh, they want to swipe up, they just want to swipe down, they want to click also to close. And while you swipe, uh, the, the notification appear and they're able to swipe left or right, such as Kinder, style. That's a bit of challenge for us. Okay. Yeah, that's in uh, the session. You can join session with uh, professional uh, fitness. Uh, that's a uh, many professional in this app, like, like yoga, like uh, there's a lot of things. Yeah. That's an event, you can browse an event and join an event and also pay. <laughs> okay, I think uh, that's it for the uh, react here. So let me go to another one. For this one, I build with uh, Flutter. It is an internal project. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is in the uh, progress. It's not uh, finished yet. So it's like uh, for the for the what you see is the whole page of the. We, we, we have a, a bunch of information related with the company, related with the team. You can see we have uh, our team here. It's just uh, we put that down to like five people. You can see the stick, the sticky had the animation. I think that it be will be working with React Native uh, and a little bit hard for this one. But for Flutter, they already built in. So we just know uh, how to configure and uh, to make it uh, like this. Yeah, we have an add some article for the team. Oh, because the app is the purpose for the improve uh, the, for the learning and the development for the team. We have calendar. Some as the dummy data. Some uh, we integrate into the API. So here is the profile. So we can switch to the dark mode and light mode quite easily because of Flutter uh, configuration for the sim uh, is. Uh, Okay, I think uh, that's it for the demo.
I'm gonna be Samus. Okay, I hope you guys can see my screen now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Here we go, we come to conclusion. After we have a, a 10 comparison and now we can uh, have a conclusion. So let me ask you one question. Uh, which team you are on? You are team Cap or team, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, team React Native or Flutter? Oh, you try to see the Silver 16 page. Let me see again. Okay, so I hope it's, it's the correct screen. Okay, yeah, Matthew. Yeah, I think that uh, for both of them, uh, sorry, for both of them, there's uh, props and con. I think that uh, for the some industry expert, they predict that Flutter will, will be win for this race for the cross platform uh, app development. And uh, currently, I'm also working on it. Yeah. Well, so for my, for my opinion, uh, I, I, there, I have a few uh, criteria for my opinion that why, uh, uh, why before I'm working with NATO and what happened and, and then I work, when I'm working on the Flutter and, and what happened, what is good, what is uh, bad. So let me share with you more. Yeah, for the NATO, uh, the one thing, the most important thing I want to, uh, I want to cleared out from my mind, it all, always happened to the team and to me, and it's hard to control for the state management. At the first, uh, you know, like we have a set state stuff, uh, the default one, and then I usually read that. So it, yeah, it's quite good. And I am not satisfied with it yet. And I move to the another one, more, like, it's still, it's still not satisfied me. And, and, and I hope that uh, contact ABI that, uh, that's the, the last hope for me. Yeah. Uh, for the custom pane or chat, as you can see, uh, for the 360 wellness for the chat, it works well. It can customize, but before it's load the chat, it have like an indicator loading and a wide background. It is because of it using the web view. So it's not a native thing. Yeah. As you can see on the, the, the left side also, this component is hard to create with the, like uh, with the graphic stuff. So what you saw on the app demo, it's like, it's just an image. Okay. Type definition, yeah. It's, I feel better with you when using TypeScript and the prop type, yeah, uh, a bit at first, at, uh, like the first year of React Native. And, and then, then I turn to uh, TypeScript. For the flow that opens up from uh, uh, Facebook, I never try it. <laughs> it's a bit uh, complex, yeah. For the package install, most of the package are dependency with, uh, React, with the native configuration. So every time we install uh, with like uh, sensor stuff. So we have to uh, go to edit on the file, like iOS uh, file and Android. So, uh, and sometimes we need to uh, we need to go to the uh, uh, port file for the iOS to add the manual for the installation for the for the package. Yeah. But for Flutter for the state management, uh, I really like it. For I, I using block block, and uh, it very satisfy me now. I seem uh, seem like I, I don't want to use anything, just block only now. 
And for the cost of pen and chat, there's a bank of tool and uh, package, and it uh, using the native code to create the uh, the the setup. Yeah, the chat. So it, it feel more native and uh, in in terms of performance, it it will be good. Yeah. For the package for the platter, uh, I have installed it. There's no uh, uh, need to configure or the native uh, code except uh, two files for the IF, it's the info key list and Android manifest. This is the, uh, because of the, before we, we want to use like it's a for camera, we need to ask for permission in the info key list. Uh, yeah, Android manifest is that. But I have one issue uh, recently, when every time I want to install the U package for the platter, there's always has an issue because uh, uh, the SDK in my machine is not uh, the latest. So it's okay, we, we, we can still use some package online, but uh, we need to lower our version a bit and uh, it should be fine. Yeah. And the same. So what, what I like the most is like uh, when I start using Flutter, I want to, to config with uh, the dark mode and the light mode at the first time. So it's easy to config and what I have to do is uh, just change the color and yeah, that's it. Also for the IE, uh, we can run an easy to debug using VS Code UI or command F, F5, yeah. Release, uh, build and release on CI CD to create a product flavor for different development. Uh, quite easy. As you can see for the app, I have a uh, Slack Dell. Actually, I have another one is for production. So it's quite easy to set up those and also config with the fast land, but not uh, fully integrated with the online tool yet. It's just now I run the command with fast land and then uh, it uh, build the app, it uh, uh, get a description or screenshot and deploy automatically to the to the start, yeah. Okay, I think uh, it's a bit fast for me. <laughs> I think uh, that the question and answer time. So if you have any question, uh, you can ask in the, the chat so that can answer, yeah. I'd like to see more example. Yeah, sure. Uh, I think uh, we, we, we plan to release the record to, to the YouTube channel for uh, Slash and We'll let you know one when we, we done that. Thank you. What are this? What are I can't and I think both is a cross-platform uh, app development, so you can write one and build many. Uh, I don't know you've seen uh, recently with the Flutter 2.0. It's not uh, just for the iOS or, or Android. Now it's a part another window, Mac, Linux, and we have the hub that's stable for the web version. So there's a lot of advantage. For Flutter, also React Native, yeah. React Native has come to call if it's for where can you be like this? I was at show to all. There's an alternative. There's an alternative. Oh, actually, I have done a few of stuff uh, with Flutter, but it is a client project. We cannot show you. Yeah. Sure, for Flutter we have. Which one is might easier to apply? I think uh, for, for Hamad, I think it depends on you. Uh, example, you are a background from uh, uh, Java, JavaScript, and uh, you decide like, oh, you, you're not, you don't want to learn that. You're, so React Native is the best way. So it's JavaScript stuff. But if you are the background from uh, from the Java developer, I think uh, Flutter 
is the best for you. Yeah. How about get the management letter? What do you see? Oh, I I try to research about it too, and there's a lot of things in get it. And <laughs> some of most of the stuff I, I don't need, so I, I, I don't use it. Yeah. How about I answer your question? Create mobile app with Java and Flutter. I don't see which one is better. I think that uh, if in terms of performance, that is always the best. <laughs> but in terms of budget, client, I think client one, the cheap, the cheapest one. I think Flutter or React is the best one yeah, for the for the cost. Do you follow any development guideline? Which one? Actually, uh, for the Flutter, I decided to watch a video of one guy that uh, integrate block uh, uh, library, and then I follow their uh, structure. I, 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 will, I will say I will do uh, letter uh, with the, the Q slide for the guideline. I agree that Java is easier to Ask Berlin, do you both or and then Flutter to the firm what I can take and this is better. Wow. It's uh, hard for me to answer this one. <laughs> if I don't have a background with Java, can I learn Flutter or Yeah, it's a bit, if you have a concept of OOP, I think it's, it would be fine for Flutter and uh, JavaScript, yeah, I, I think uh, if you have background to, from web, uh, it should be fine for reality too. Do you think we need to move to Flutter? Yeah, it depends. If you have a, a new project and then you want to try using, I think you, you can uh, let your, 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 uh, your tech lead or yeah, your client uh, know and then compare because uh, they might ask you one thing like, uh, why do you, you go to Flutter? Is there Flutter? Uh, you you confident enough if Flutter ready for production? Yeah, so maybe a bunch of questions that you need to answer. But I can say like, uh, I think Flutter ready to, uh, to, to, to be production. As you can see, uh, they say uh, like, they build the uh, Google Pay with the Flutter, uh, 100%. Yeah, that's an example. Okay, I think there's a lot of questions. Oh, what other platforms like Flutter SDK do you work with? I think we have Native Flutter. I'm, I'm mostly with the front end stuff. So, yeah. This is this is it. Uh, what I, I see, I will do is probably an ATO and uh, web development stuff, web design stuff, and a flat time. Yes, or maybe Angular a bit, but uh, uh, the version one. That's where I can flat time offer drag and drop. I think that's where I can flat time. Sure, sure. I uh, for drag and drop, and uh, uh, I think this one is editor, right? Yeah. I, I found out that that too already, but uh, we not. There's a feature in the app for us, our app, also client app. We, uh, we, the, we don't have a feature like that, so we're not going to use it yet. But I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it. and it's quite uh, good and very, very, uh, I mean, about to customize. The Flutter support you to SDK, how is the performance compared to the app? Oh, yeah, to be honest, uh, I'm not work with uh, the Bluetooth uh, uh, connection yet. So yeah, I, I can't answer it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. OK, that's one. If I start with Flutter, so yeah, sure. I think with that OP uh, concept, that uh, gonna be hard for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, but yeah, also. <laughs> okay. 
And when you should choose the one that's like uh, if it's gonna be person uh, and letter. Yeah. For me, I will go with flatter because uh, I saw on the, before I, I do the presentation, I uh, currently about flatter, so I, I just want to recheck is there a reality or there are some big change there, and I go to the uh, the issue and uh, the, the GitHub stuff. There are nothing big different, so it's a, they just like uh, fake the back and no not much uh, feature release, but it's not like Flutter, Flutter for every uh, uh, webinar or uh, even there's uh, a lot of feature and a lot of performance improved for, for, the, for, the, for the Flutter stuff. So for me, I go with Flutter. See you Flutter, which one is better for peer launch? I think both of them are about to do that. Uh, because we are not here uh, for Facebook team, like uh, they build the Facebook and also Instagram, but we don't know for now. <laughs> we don't know for now, but before they say like uh, Facebook, maybe some part of Facebook or, or Instagram, they're using a we are not here. For Flutter, they have a bunch of uh, famous apps like, uh, like what I just said, Google Pay. So they have a complex city. Uh, Already, so I think both of them can do that. Everything work with, yeah. <laughs> that uh, that we, we should. I think uh, back to the the year one. I, I should catch up uh, a lot with all. Yeah. What platter can be about the person? Oh, that's a new thing. Yeah, because platter it just released the 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 stable for the web. So I'm going to get my hand that TV soon. How about from the platform web? Oh, relate with the web. I'm sorry about it. Uh, uh, because uh, before I, I feel not confident for, for the platform web. That's why I, I'm not, uh, uh, yeah, I'm playing around with it until it's released. Yeah. Can you ever just like that to work with the Oh. It's amazing, yeah. Uh, I, I say like uh, the app that I, I saw you, we have connected with a pure API using GraphQL. It's uh, really amazing. Uh, I love GraphQL. Yeah. Before we use the RESTful, that uh, one request, there are a lot of fields that we, not, uh, we, don't, we don't need. So for GraphQL, there's a, a, a beautiful tool that uh, they can get only uh, the data that only we need it. And uh, it's easy to integrate, I think, for Flutter. Yeah. Yes, and it's on call, yeah, and the library support, so. Okay. I think we still have time. Yeah, I think need the slide very fast. So that's all for the question. I think, uh, I don't know why I can't go to the few slides. Okay. Uh, so back to the slide. Actually, uh, uh, when I'm working uh, with the Flutter the first time, I decided to uh, create a notebook for, my, for myself and also the team in SLAS. And I think like, what if I can share with everyone? Yeah. So I create the Flutter Nubi and those uh, uh, GitHub page that contain like uh, how to get started with Flutter or what I've learned at the, at the very beginning. And also uh, come up with the two files. One is the uh, um, package, like, a lot of package that can, that could help you. Uh, to, 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 you don't need to spend your time to create the UI to uh, to do all those stuff. So there are package already there, support it, and uh, and uh, it's really good. And also another one is the setup production. So uh, this Git 
this, this repo I'm uh, still in progress. And is anyone interesting and want to uh, contribute, you can uh, reach me. And then we, we, we hope, I hope like I, I can improve this one and share with everyone. Uh, yeah. To for the new uh, for for who knew to flutter. I hope it is useful. So uh, for the upcoming event, I think that you guys uh, uh, can uh, check it out on the uh, uh, calendar. There's uh, a lot of uh, upcoming event, and the next one, our team will, will talk about uh, the blockchain stuff. I think uh, if anyone is interested with the blockchain, so you go to uh, Slack.co, Slack and Calendar, and register. Yeah. So feel free to reach me. And uh, yeah, also you can spam me. <laughs> so I, for here, yeah, I prefer uh, Telegram and Facebook uh, Messenger. Yeah. Think that uh, yeah, that the uh, last slide. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, I'll see you next time.